over six decades, Bank of Industry has been here. Driving Nigeria's industrial development through financial and business support services to micro enterprises, small and medium enterprises, and large enterprises across Nigeria. Leveraging on strategic partnerships, we provide equipment financing, working capital, and support to enterprises in key sectors of Nigeria's economy, including youth and women-led enterprises. Whatever your business needs, starting up, expansion, diversification, modernization, or rehabilitation, we'll be here always to support you. Bank of Industry, transforming Nigeria's industrial sector. Good evening and welcome to this week's edition of BOI Impact. I am Hadiza Oyeumi. The Federal Government of Nigeria, in line with the Sustainable Development Goals SDG number three, which is to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all ages, is making a significant drive through the Bank of Industry to achieve this goal. Viathan is Nigeria's largest embedded electricity company operating as a decentralized vertically integrated energy utility. Viathan produces compressed natural gas that is distributed to its own power plants and third-party customers in the fast-moving consumer goods and residential estates, power generation ventures and haulage industries. Viathan also generates electricity via seven gas-fired independent power plants with a total capacity of 51 megawatts and counting. Vatan also distributes electricity to hundreds of load centers through its private bespoke underground electricity distribution network spanning over 100 kilometers since 2015. Vatan, with the support of the Bank of Industry, has been on a mission to accelerate the adoption of clean energy in Nigeria by sourcing and allocating capital towards developing strategy infrastructure to make clean energy available and reliable. This mission is compelling as success will involve creating access to electricity for Nigeria's off-grid population estimated at 100 million people. The company operates seven independent power plant IPPs located in Lekki Phase 1, Marina, Ilupeju, Abeokuta, Ogiri and Ibado, with a total generating capacity of 40 megawatts. Viaton distributes this electricity to its commercial, industrial and wholesale residential customers through a 120-kilometer private underground network which travels through Lekki, Ikoi, Victoria Island and Marina. Viaton ensures reliable service delivery to its various commercial customers comprising factories, residential estates and industries by managing its input value chain which involves producing compressed natural gas at its facility in Abeokuta. Vathan operates an integrated energy company with operations across the power and gas value chains and a pioneer in the use of natural gas vehicles, NGVs, for both haulage and mass transit. The vision to impact lives and drive economic growth across Africa has significantly helped many companies to adopt gas-powered solutions. Co-founder and CEO of Viathan Engineering Limited, Habib Ali Biyoshu, at an interview told us more about Viathan. Sometime in 2011, there of the journey started. We sought to, should I say, figure out ways of helping Nigerians and helping Africans get access to electricity, and you can do so by several means. We knew the best solution was to adopt a distributed generation model that effectively allows us to identify clusters around the country with, call it a reasonable level of energy intensity in a way where we can scale, um, call it an energy supply solution, be it power or gas. Journey started with six and a half megawatts. 2011, we started negotiating the power purchase agreement. Within three, four years, we concluded the negotiations and built our first power plant to six and a half, the power plant called PIPP in Lekki phase one. Um, again, zero to six and a half from 
2015 there on, we were able to access and raise further capital to expand our overall offering. At that point in time, we made acquisition of where we currently are, um, Island Power Plant. Naturally, again, this was a bigger plant. We've gone from six and a half to a plant that was around 10 and a half at the time. And of course, with that asset, we also started mopping up, um, call it virtual pipeline infrastructure, which was key and integral to being able to reliably provide the electricity that we currently do. So we started with about, call it um, an asset size of roughly 20 to 35,000 ton a cubic meter of gas. Um, and again, the beginning of the journey um, became a reality. We're now, I call it a platform with two power plants, um, one built organically, one acquired inorganically. Now, of course, our dreams were coming together a clear need to actually address the bottlenecks around the value chain. We had now become power solution providers. We had realized that there were gas constraints, which is part of the challenges we're having in the energy um, ecosystem. And all of a sudden, Viathan was born, Gasco Marine was born. Guys like BOI were also on the market, trying to give us the right types of funding that facilitates the right type of capital structure for these as types of assets. As you know, they are long-term assets with a steep um, life cycle. So you need that appropriate funding um, structure. So I'd say, again, government still, again, as you can see, if you look at the capital markets, most of the long-term instruments are still predominantly government. We're just starting to see some semblance of momentum when it comes to corporate debt securities with good tenors. So yeah, government was one of the few, um, call it consumers, that could meet that, call it credit worthiness, um, thresholds, of course, along with other multinationals. Managing Director Gasco Marine Nigeria Limited, a subsidiary of Viathan Shegun Ogumumi, spoke more about the relationship between Gasco Marine and Viathan. We started business uh, about 2014, uh, basically as a backward integration to our sister company, Viathan Engineering. So we started by supplying CNG to our sister company's plant in Lekki. Uh, as you know, our sister company runs power plants that run purely on gas. And uh, where possible, they get the gas from pipelines. And where it's not possible, we supply the gas as CNG, which is gas supplied through trailer tube skids. That's what basically we do. Our business is to supply gas to where there's no pipe gas available. And we use trucks and trailer tube skids to supply that gas in a compressed form to various power plants in Lagos, Ogun, and Oyo State. Our other companies that we have relationship with, Axela, uh, NGMC, they supply gas through pipelines, but we supply purely through trucks and we supply CNG. So the process that works for us is that we get gas from the NGMC pipeline in Abekuta. We have built a compression plant in 2019 that takes that gas from the pipeline at low pressure and then builds up the pressure, compress it to a very high pressure of what we call 250 bar. So that pressure will fit into our trucks, and then from the trucks, we now use the trucks to supply our various customer locations. What that compression does for us is that it helps us to reduce the volume of the gas by 100 times, so that we can supply more volume to our customers in one trip. So basically, when we take gas from the pipeline, low pressure, we increase the pressure to 250 bar, and then we truck it to our various customer locations. And we have customer locations, as I said, in Ibada, in North Aogu State, in Nagbara, and in Lagos Island, and in Leke as well. We have a relationship with Nigerian Gas Marketing Company, which is a uh, arm of NMPC Limited. Uh, they have a network of gas pipelines across most of the southwestern part of the country, up to uh, Jakuta in the north central. Uh, they also have a pipeline in Ogun State, in Abekuta. Specifically, we get gas from the NGMC at the Abekuta location. So we, we have a gas sales and purchase agreement with NGMC, and they supply our gas requirements. So to that extent, we have had positive impact on uh, Vitan. We have helped Vitan manage its customer base, its expansion program in an effective manner, and also helping them to contribute to the reduction in green gas emissions. The key factor and enabler for expansion is not just access to fund, but access to fund at an affordable rate. And that's why BOI comes in. Where the facilities that we have enjoyed from BOI has enabled us to increase 
a virtual pipeline fleet, that is the skids that carry the gas, and the trucks, CNG power trucks that also carry the skids. Chief Finance Officer of Athen Engineering Limited, Ulua Shion Shomumi, highlighted the impact of BOI support on the expansion of the company. Considering um, the capital required in, in the energy space, so we, we have been able to um, build this capacity with a mix of equity and debt. Before COVID-19 set in, we had approached BOI, Bank of Industry, to um, assess um, some funding because uh, we thought it would be in sync with our strategic goal to have a blended cost of fund that is cheap and enable us to compete effectively in the market. Ultimately, we were able to have access to um, fund from BOI that has helped our business significantly in the last 12 months. Uh, with that fund, we have been able to expand our operations beyond uh, what we had in 2021. We were able to um, build about one megawatt capacity in Ogere, Shagamu. We were able to extend our operations to a your state. We, we built 1.5 megawatt capacity um, for a, uh, an FFCG in your state. And as well, we were able to build, extend our distribution network by 30 kilometers from Marina to um, VI. And the ultimate plan is to further extend that to Ekoi substation. So with the help of BOI, we have been able to grow um, our revenue by almost 33% in 2022 compared to 2021. Um, without that support, we wouldn't have been able to onboard some more customers that we have onboarded in 2022 alone. Uh, we've been able to acquire more virtual um, pipeline infrastructure that enables us to um, extend our operation beyond Southwest Nigeria. We are, we are now um, just about to um, start serving customers in the, in the Northern market. Here is what the Divisional Held Large Enterprises tree at the Bank of Industry has to say. Belton is a customer of the bank. We give the customer a facility which we disburse in uh, 2021. So far, so good. They are meeting up with their responsibility and we are proud of them. Uh, they are into off-grid power generation and distribution. Um, particularly uh, gas to power. The, they have their customers across, across the country, which this particular company is charged with the responsibility of powering. With the support of the Bank of Industry, Vatan has been able to employ more than 150 Nigerians while also ensuring reliable service delivery to its various customers. As of today, we have a staff strength of about 150 and growing with the um, gas plant. We did not have, we had only like five trucks and five skids. We've grown that by time seven, which means that we've had to um, hire drivers and driver support and the people manning the plant. So in total, um, I'll say that we've grown by 35, 40%, at least just on the gas side in the past um, less than one year. We have to groups of clients. We have the government's clients who were the um, our anchor tenants when the plants were um, built, so in Lagos State and in Ugo State. And we have our commercial clients, so commercial clients being uh, commercial, industrial and wholesale residential clients. So we kind of group them into three, so commercial being businesses, industrial being industries that we power, and the um, industrial wholesale residential so those are big estates structured estates that we are able to power as an estate and ICT sector as well people that are um, we find that people that are power sensitive um, some people can use a mix of power but some people can't deal with the on and off so regardless of how, um, how available a power source is, the trips is what um, certain customers do not want. So we find that people that are sensitive in those kind of areas are the kind of people that we power. So um, sectors that covers a couple of those areas and so on. So today, give or take directly, um, we have almost 150 people um, employed in the company. It's a massive story of youth. Um, I, I would say that in the executive management team, it's, it's all youth, it's all young people. Youth also needs guidance and needs direction. And from time to time, we are able to, that mix, that blend, and of course, we are true to 
gender balance as well. It's, it's, it's important for us to get the right optimal decision making, call it a um, blend of youth, of gender, and effectively, you know, helping us meet the, the key targets that we want. But generally, um, Nigerians are at the center of everything we do. The team is comprised fully of Nigerians. Again, you meet the operations um, lead, the senior asset manager in that department. Um, I would say today, I can boast that most of our solutions, be it engines that we use for our gas compression and for our power production, up to certain milestones, I'll say not about 50,000 hours of, 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 or actually I say 40,000 hours of, of the life cycle of those machines can be managed by Nigerians. For over six decades, Bank of Industry has been here, driving Nigeria's industrial development through financial and business support services to micro enterprises, small and medium enterprises, and large enterprises across Nigeria. Leveraging on strategic partnerships, we provide equipment financing, working capital, and support to enterprises in key sectors of Nigeria's economy, including youth and women-led enterprises. Whatever your business needs, starting up, expansion, diversification, modernization, or rehabilitation will be here always to support you. Bank of Industry, transforming Nigeria's industrial sector. Some of his customers have this to say about the company's services. I joined SPA three years ago while I met Viatan in the system, but my experience so far with Viatan for the last for the past three years has been wonderfully well. They supply power to our spa shop at Ilupeju, number 43 Ilupeju. Also our casket factory, where we produce casket water, and also our head office, number 58 Town Plan Away. So they supply us 100% power. Wyatan is uh, our, we can say they are our working partner, like a working partner. They, they, they are the one main, our main power source. We are getting main power from them only. So from last seven to eight years, they are supplying the uninterrupted power to us. They are good in supplying the powers. We never had a, any major issues with them. They give us power from morning till evenings, which is our core period from 9 a.m. to 5. We're powered all through the weekends. We're powered on IPP and the relationship, I, I would say, has been very awesome. It's been very wonderful. I really, we want to appreciate you. Our staff appreciates you. They keep asking what, we, what we're doing differently, but I want to say that um, your team has been really great and we're grateful for that association. Because when you power us, you would also give light to our sister hospital and our uh, senior body, the body under which we work, which is the Health Service Commission. Once we get light in General Hospital, the Health Service Commission is powered and Island Maternity is powered. So with that association that we have with you, you have solved millions of problems. You have solved problems here in General Hospital with our laboratories, with our morgue, that is the mortuary services, where you know, if you, if you don't have lights constantly, your mortuary is a mess. Your lab is totally destroyed. Your samples, the samples that you take, if you don't have lights, there's really nothing you can do. All the samples are messed up. And um, you can't really do anything really without light. So I must say that partnering with you has been a wow. You've not just helped General Hospital Lagos, you've helped um, Unico Health Center, you've helped Lagos Island Maternity Hospital. And like I said, You've also helped our parent body, which is our masters, the Health Service Commission. For this, we are grateful. The value proposition is what makes the compelling argument for being able to do what we do. We offer an essential service. Again, 
every Nigerian benefits from it. And again, we've barely scratched the surface. So I'd say by doing what we do, we've been able to again give Nigerians somewhat of north of 85% guaranteed availability. That level of reliability and sustainability is what consumers want and something that allows them make savings on their erstwhile solutions. And that's clearly what we do and that's how we've stayed in business. We have lofty ambitions. Um, as, you can, as you already know, the energy deficit again remains clear. You can expect that over the next five years or so, we want to add a minimum of 150 megawatts to our existing capacity, uh, bringing us cumulatively on the power side of the business to at least 200 megawatts. Um, on the gas side, roughly we're selling nearly 100,000 scum per day. Um, we want to see that grow five times, so at least half a million scum per day by ensuring that we've or we grow new markets. In terms of new trends and all of that, we are, we are, we are hard at work. We are, we've started design and the pilot is starting any moment from now. We're looking at mid H2 of the first, call it grid scalable floating solar solution in the country. We're quite excited about some of the strides that we're making in the natural gas vehicle space. Transportation is a major frontier for the gas business. So as a group, the ambitions are quite lofty. We're ready um, and, and excited. The Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Bank of Industry, Mr. Olukai Depito, at an interview said the bank is always ready to support Nigerian manufacturers. If you go to, to MAN, that is the Manufacturing Association of Nigeria, and you ask them, uh, they will tell you that uh, uh, the manufacturing index has actually gone up because they are doing more than before. But there are still many areas where they are asking for government to step in. They have major challenge with power. As an agent of government, you know, our job is to ensure that we make it easier for them uh, to not only survive, but to thrive and to prosper. You know? And that's what we are trying to do at BY. Viatan's commitment to transitioning to cleaner energy solution is strongly aligned with Nigeria's emission reduction goals, which aims to eliminate all diesel and gasoline emissions by 2030. For Nigeria to achieve its nationally determined contribution emissions goals, Viatan has garnered billions of naira in infrastructure and investments over the last seven years from indigenous and international investors and the capital market. The joy of the Bank of Industry is to positively impact entrepreneurs to bring their dreams alive, which in the process helps in catalyzing Nigeria's industrial transformation as enunciated by the federal government. At BOI, we pledge to continue supporting potentially viable and developmentally impactful ventures. I am Hadiza Oyomi. It's good evening and have yourself an enterprising week. Bye for now. <music>